Right. Random public service video. Um, we don't stop the rosin bomb rocket. We don't currently have any plans to. It's a great little press. Whatever. Anyway, not the point. I own one. Um, and I've found a load of functions on it that I haven't found listed anywhere else for this press. So I thought I'd make a little video of them. Um, I've just been messing around with them, which is why my temperature is so high. Uh, that will become more obvious as I go through the video. Now, the first thing I'd say is a little function on this press that's really, really useful is you can actually start the press up, plug it in, and then if you hold down the reset button for a few seconds, that will um, that will turn off your temperature. So that will stop it from actually heating up in the first place. So you can press stuff in your plates um, with it on. They still work. And then, uh, yeah, hold that down again and it will come back on. I should say when you do that, um, sometimes the thermostat doesn't kick in properly and you've got to move your plates up and down. I don't quite get how it works um, before it kicks back in again. If it's being really weird, just unplug your press, plug it back in again. Um, right now the reason for making this video is also i found stuff like you can change uh you can change this display from celsius to fahrenheit um and you can calibrate the temperature on it now i should say don't do any of this stuff if you're about to do some pressing um it can get a little bit confusing there's a load of settings that you have to change um once you change the celsius to fahrenheit or in reverse it will reset everything on your press um, so you do have to go back through it afterwards and set everything up. Uh, it can be a little bit confusing. Um, if you go into the wrong menu, it will reset everything that you've just set up again. So, yeah, don't do it when you're short on time or if you're feeling a little bit stressed out or whatever. Do it when you're, when you're ready and you've got a clear head. So all of this information um, actually comes from the Rosinbaum M60 owner's manual. Um, it's got... It's got the same functions in this menu here. Uh, it's missing one of the functions, otherwise it's exactly the same, um, excluding the fact that up is down and down is up in the menus. Um, so you've got all of the functions I'm about to go through here. They're all listed. You can just Google Rosenbaum M60 owner's manual and find all of this stuff. But I'm making the video because there's a few things it doesn't say here, like the fact that it resets it and you have to reset up this section once changing anything in this section. So, changing Fahrenheit to Celsius. Hold down the set button and the up button for three seconds. That'll bring up your CF menu. Um, you can select it in there. So you press select and you can change between them and select and then press set again to go out the menu. Reset again, sorry, to go out the menu. Now I've done that, my press plates um, will probably, when this starts to kick in again, when the heat kicks in will start rising um the reason this happens go on do it there we go um the reason this happens is because the delay timer has been turned off um off from the press so this is usually the last thing you want to do when you've set everything up is ensure that these settings are correct before i do that i'll just show you if you go into the set menu so hold down set for a few seconds and then go to ca you can actually calibrate your press plates. So if you stick a thermocouple in between your plates, um, close it very gently so you don't damage it, uh, you can find out the press plate temperature and then adjust it there. That's really useful. Right, so this is shooting up. What we have to do now is hold down the set button for three seconds to go into the other menu. Um, go to D and check that the differential is set to one. Um, so this means that it will kick in, the thermostat will kick in one Fahrenheit above um, above the set temperature and then we need to go down to uh, P7 which is the timer um, so we need to set that to one so that it kicks in one second after otherwise the temperature will keep going up and up forever and you also have to go to HC and set this from C which is cooling mode don't know why it has that to H okay then we press reset and hopefully in theory I'll just check that everything's gone through and the delay differential and the p7 timer are set and then hopefully um, the press plates should stop increasing in their temperature and that should start to go down again it looks like they're slowing so yeah anyway that's very important um, you need to make sure that your differential is set to one fahrenheit 
and your delay timer P7 is set to 1 um, yeah all your plates will go up and up forever now it's worth saying when you've done this your minimum temperature and maximum temperature limits will have been wiped out um, so it will be set to like minus 22 Fahrenheit and it's 530C or something um, 530F even so you can hold down the set button for three seconds jump back into that menu um, and go to LS is the low setting I'm not going to bother changing that because it doesn't really matter HS I will tweak that at some point take ages to cycle back down I'll put that down to like 250 Fahrenheit again um, so that's cool temperature is still dropping as you can see that's what it should be doing so now I've done all of that I've done everything I want to do just to make sure Go in, HC, set to H, good, that's where you need it. Differential, set to 1. P7, timer, set to 1, cool. Now, that is basically all you need. As I say, M60 press manual. And yeah, what it doesn't say in here is that if you hold down the reset button, you can just turn off the power to your press plates so that you can just use the up and down function without any heating. Hold that down again. Cool. Um, yeah, that's it. Remember, those those other settings that you access by holding this key down, the differential and the timer, they are super, super important. If you don't do them, your press will just keep increasing in temperature until it cooks itself. The wires will melt, shit will start to catch fire probably. It's not a situation you want to be in. So yeah, do this carefully and make sure that you check them at the end of all of your setup. Um, yeah, that's it. Good luck.